A woman goes in for knee surgery and winds up with a stomach as big as a watermelon and needs emergency abdominal surgery. Would you like to learn what this horror story is all about? Come join me as I share with you this great information. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial attorney practicing law in the state of New York. She went in for a knee replacement surgery and the surgery went great. The surgeon left specific instructions with the staff, with the nursing staff, that when she was going to go back to the recovery room, she was going to have a drain placed. This is a woman who is middle-aged. All of a sudden, her belly began to get bigger and bigger and bigger and more painful and painful, and she started to scream out. And the nurses came running over, and they couldn't figure out why her belly was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now remember, during surgery, nobody did anything to her belly. And the only thing that they did was they operated on her knee. The knee replacement went great. But now, in the recovery room, the nurses can't figure out what's going on. The doctors are called over. They can't figure out what's going on. And finally, a surgeon comes over and realizes, look, we have to get you into surgery, find out emergently what's happening, because this is not normal. They rush her into the operating room only 15 or 20 minutes after she had come out of surgery. And now, this is what happens. The surgeon takes the scalpel, and the moment he takes it and cuts the belly, whoosh, that's exactly what he hears an escape of air, like a balloon deflating. And they look around and they're examining, exploring internally inside her abdomen. They're looking at the bowel. They're, they're doing something called running the bowel. They want to see if there's any air, if there's any holes, perforation, leaks in the colon that might account for why there was so much air in her abdomen. And you know what the surgeon found? Absolutely nothing. Nothing. Everything was normal except for this unusual finding when he made that cut with the scalpel right into her belly. And you know what? They couldn't figure out what was going on. So the surgeon closed her up and takes her back to recovery. And now they begin to investigate. They speak to the nurses, to the doctors, everybody who was involved with the first procedure. And you know what they learn? They learn a remarkable thing. The nurse who was supposed to attach the drainage device that was attached to the knee, she was supposed to take that and attach it to a suction device to suction out any fluid after the surgery while she's in the recovery. Well, the nurse did attach that tubing right to a device. Unfortunately for the patient, it was not a suction device sucking fluid out. Instead, she attached it to an oxygen device so that when she turned the valve on, air was being pumped up into the knee, which is a closed space, and there's no place for the air to go. So now, all of a sudden, the air starts going up into the skin underneath the skin, creeping up the leg, all the way up to the abdominal area, and there was no air in the belly itself, it was underneath the skin. And so what the surgeon heard when he went back to take her to emergency surgery to open her up, that deflating noise was air coming out from right under the skin. So why do I share this great information with you? I share it with you just to give you an insight and an understanding into one particular case that I was able to successfully handle and resolve on behalf of this woman. And you know, chances are you have questions or concerns about your own particular surgery. And if your matter happened in New York and you do have legal questions, what I encourage you to do is pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. This is something I do every single day and I welcome your call. And by the way, if your matter happened outside of New York, give me a call anyway because I can probably refer you to a trusted attorney in your state. As always, my phone number is 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. Well, that's it for today's quick video. I'm Jerry Oginski coming to you from Orlando, Florida. Have a wonderful day.